Hello everyone, welcome back to the art wagon. Um, today we are going to um, color the hair on our color along full of wicked wilds vamp and um, today I think I'm gonna try something really fun. Um, I started the process down here on her veil and um, I thought it would be really cool to do that with her hair and then maybe move it into the skin so that you, there's a glowing effect because my background I think I'm gonna do like a moon or something that um, that's glowing down like this like the, the lights coming down and um, she'll have a, like a glowing effect here and then her veil of course will be glowing as well so yeah let's see what happens all right let's go for it okay so today you will need um of course the white prisma color pencil so today we're using all prismas okay i know the other day i kind of went off kilter and used prismas and um fiber castell but today all prismas okay so white of course black of course my poor little black pencil i need to find my other black pencils and indigo blue the sky blue light the aquamarine and the light aqua if you guys go by numbers 992 905 <clears throat> 1086 there's a glare on that one we all know what white is indigo blue 901 and of course black okay and then i've got this um that carnage um blending like stump blender it, it's really cool you guys like i suggest it it's a full blender it blends wax and oil based um pencils so yeah, it's very cool. And you just sharpen it. It's very awesome. Okay, got it off of Amazon. All right, guys. Um, let's see. Um, first of all, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the roots of the hair and go down with the darkest color, which we are going to use at this point. Not the indigo blue. We're going to start off with the um, aquamarine. And... We're just gonna like just flick it down from the root area. Happy Saturday, everybody! It's Saturday here, um, the weekend. Everybody's still asleep, so I thought I would get this video up and going before everybody wakes up. I was gonna try to do this yesterday, but I just couldn't seem to get time where it was quiet enough like there's always something going on at my house so there we go see so, yeah, I'm just flicking it down and in the areas where it would be a little bit more darkness like in between little skulls here this is hair through here so That's where we want the darker color. And then I'm going to, um, oh, need these colors here. All right. So today is the first day I am starting this lovely uh, Slim Fast Shake. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not endorsing them either. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to try this one. It says it's a mocha cappuccino. Has, have any of you guys tried this? It's like a shake and it's, I mean, it's all right. It's good, but it's not my coffee. <laughs> yeah. All right. I had a little bit of that. Um, it's not my coffee. It says it has enough caffeine in it as one cup of coffee. But um, with the lockdowns and everything else, um, I've gained quite a bit of weight. I think I've been stress eating. Um, so I'm trying to lose some weight. And I thought the coffee one, since I am addicted to coffee, 
I would try. It's still not my coffee though. <laughs> Nothing is your coffee. Okay, so I'm going from the ends up as well um, with the um, aquamarine. Okay, so just areas where I think we have some shadow and darkness in the hair. Those are the areas where I'm putting the aquamarine. And like I said, I'm just flicking it into those areas. I'm not going real hard pressure or anything like that. Okay. I hope everybody's enjoying the um, color along. It seems like everyone likes her. She's doing pretty good on my Etsy shop, so... I can't wait to see everybody's pictures. She is a low price right now, 99 cents, and that's only for a limited time during this color along. So for the first, uh, till next Thursday. So, and then I'll, she goes back up to regular price. This is an image I did last year for Halloween during Spooktober. I was part of the Epic Events um, event they had for Spooktober. And she wasn't the one of my event pictures, but she was um, something I did a little extra on the side um, during that time. And um, members from my coloring group, Coloring Art Wagon, I mean, Michelle's Coloring Art Wagon, can't even talk today. Um, the members there get to pick each week which... Um, image they would like to see me color and that they could color along with me so I put like a few selections up and they can choose from that a selection or if they have an um, a recommendation so that's really fun I mean I, I want to be able to color things that everybody else would like to see as well from my Etsy shop. Now I've been debating on making um, more books. Oh, before I go on, um, this part of her hair, like wherever there's like darkness, that's where I'm also putting the darker shade of aquamarine. Um, just pulling it out from the neck area. But anyway, I've been debating on um, making more books. I have quite a few on Amazon um, that I've published on Amazon, but I discontinued, I believe I discontinued two or three of my older images um, books because they just really don't reflect my style anymore. Um, I was just learning and getting out there and everybody loved them don't get me wrong I I did sell quite a few of those books and I've continued to sell them but I don't know I just I've grown as an artist and I just you know when you kind of it's kind of like when you're cleaning out your closet and you're like oh I love that sweater but I've kind of grown to where I don't like that style anymore so that's basically what I've done but I'm thinking about making more books, but I'm not sure, like everybody seems to like Etsy. So, cause they can print it on their own um, paper and it seems to work pretty well. But you guys let me know. Okay, so I can make books and put them on Etsy as printables as well. So, okay, so I'm going in with my white and those areas that we left without any color I'm just gonna go over not too much because we don't wanna we don't wanna lose our lines we wanna still be able to see our lines so just go over it enough to where you can still see your lines in those areas that we left with no color okay I haven't done str like coloring streams in a long time I've been doing a lot of unboxings for Sketchbox and um, art snacks and those have been really fun and then if I find like art supplies out and about um, and they're a good deal I'll unbox those as well those are really fun to do those videos 
I don't think there's as much pressure when you do unboxing videos as the coloring ones. Because if you screw up here, yeah, that's not good. But, okay, so, yeah. Just go in where you have no color with the white. I hope I don't mess her up anyway. <laughs> but you know what? Art, you can always, like, just work with it. Like, don't give up on it. Like, I've had images where I think I've messed up. I am, like, where I'm, like, so frustrated. But then I walk away from it. I give it a few hours or a day or so. Then I go back to it. And then I'm like, okay, how can I work with this or fix it but I don't there's very rare that I actually throw something away because there's always a way to make it better or to fix it and literally fix it like there was a time I was coloring because I color other artists work too I believe I was coloring a um, a Rubio picture and um, Mardell Rubio and I was and I was like so excited with it and then all of a sudden um, the brown marker I was using like it just went and leaked all over like one part of it and I was like I wanted to cry and I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do and my mom actually had the idea I went and showed her and she was like oh no and I said, oh, yes, what am I going to do, you know? And I was so excited with that picture, too, of how it was turning out. And she goes, well, it's like quilting. She's like, why don't you just make another copy of that picture, cut that piece out of the picture, just cut it out, and use that um, glue stick and glue it onto that part, that area, and um, and then recolor it. And I was like, oh my God, that could work. So I did that and it worked. <laughs> nobody, nobody ever noticed. I was like, yes. I was so excited because then, you know, it, it worked. So like if you screwed up on this part of the hair, you can make a copy of this again and just cut this part out right here. Just cut it out. If you could follow the little lines, as long as it's not too in intricate. And then, you know, glue stick it right exactly where it's at and then do it again. Okay, so, yes, I'm using a lot of blue in this picture. Why not, right? Um, I was going to color her hair red, but then I thought, no, I think it'll be a little too abrasive on her because I might make a lot of the background with a lot of reds. Not sure yet. Um... Anyway, okay, so this one is the Light Aqua. And this Light Aqua, I'm just going to go a little over the Aquamarine and the white. We're just going to come at, come down. And I'm just flicking it down into the white. Both colors just kind of merging those two together, the white and the aquamarine in. So I hope everybody's having a lovely Saturday and everyone gets to have their coffee. <laughs> now I know a lot of you would like me to go live. I've had a lot of requests for that, but Problem with that is if I schedule live and can't do it, I'll feel bad because like I said, I've my my 85 year old mom lives with me. I take care of her. She has the first signs of Alzheimer's and I take care of her here at my house and I also have a nine year old little boy and you know how little boys are. They're you know, he plays his games and He's a little loud, <laughs> especially when his little friends come over and stuff. But, and then I've got my two boxers. One is a puppy 
and then I've got my two kitties and my husband of course but he works a lot so he's not really and he knows when I have that door closed not to just barge in he knows what I'm doing so no worries there but yeah so I have my hands full but art is awesome it's like very therapeutic especially especially the coloring part of it um, I got into uh, coloring I've always been drawing I mean I've been drawing since I was little and I've taken art classes and um, and you know I but I really got into adult coloring books when my dad passed away in 2015 and I went into a massive depression and I really started drawing a lot like a lot a lot and it really helped with my depression and then I started coloring with just my my uh, kids crowns and markers or like you know inexpensive Crayolas I mean don't get me wrong there's a good too it's the person it's like when you drive it's like oh okay you know that person won the race but or the car rent won the race but really you know it's the driver you know so I think you can do whatever you put your mind to with whatever supplies you have so anyway I would um I would color the stuff that I drew right afterwards and a friend of mine that I've had since I was little um, suggested that I make a coloring book with some of my designs and I was like really and she showed me how and what to, what you know to go through the loops to have to jump through and I did and I made it and I really enjoyed it so I continued doing it since 2015 Okay, so I went, I'm going back in with the aquamarine, as you can tell, as I keep gabbing away. I didn't mean to get all depressing or anything. Hopefully that wasn't depressing for everyone. But but really, um, you know, mental health is very important. Um, you need to take care of it. It's like your, I mean, it's a big part of your wellness. And I think, you know, that art has a lot a lot of therapeutic benefits to your mind okay so I'm taking the aquamarine and I'm just going through and just darkening up certain areas that I want darkened and like I always say when you color with me do it the way you guys want to do it I mean if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing that's awesome but I mean make it yours do what makes you happy. Okay, so I think I think we're good with this part. But anyway, it yeah. So there's lots of hobbies out there, and I think that you need to find something that you really have a niche for and just I said niche not the other <laughs> find a niche for it and just keep with it and you know the more you do it the more you practice the more you read up on things I read a lot so I read um, I have a lot of different art books that I'm always like trying to learn and progress and and grow and that's the way it should be in life like you nobody's ever perfect when they first start out doing anything Okay, so yeah, she's got her glowing hair. Um, then I'm going to go in with my 1086 Sky Blue Light. This guy's getting little too. Okay, with those areas, again, where I put the white, we're just going to go back in there. The Sky Blue Light actually is going to, is what's really going to give you that that glowing look and if you don't have sky blue light just use your white basically does the same thing but the blue in this 
just makes it blend a little bit better. That's why I'm using this instead of the white again. Because it has that blue hue in it. Try to stay in that same color family and you'll get a good blend. These are wax based so I always get a build up at the end. I know everybody's like, why do you use so much pressure when you when you color? I don't in the beginning, but at the end I do. And yes, I get a wax bloom, but that's just me. That's just my that's just my style. Everybody has their own way of doing things, and that's mine. Okay, so Go where you had that white and just add that sky blue light. So yesterday I was driving to get breakfast and <laughs> I I was in a really good mood yesterday. And you know when you're in you're you're in a good mood and you turn on that radio and your one of your jams comes on, you know? So <laughs> so song comes on and I'm like trying to jam to it and I'm, I'm thinking to myself self you really don't know the words to this song and then I start thinking there's a lot of songs out there that you're like what in the world are they saying like seriously I guess if something has a really good beat to it people really don't care what they're saying <laughs> or something I don't know that was just funny Cause I was trying to sing to it and then like just kind of like kind of just started saying my own words <laughs> it was funny I was just like what am I doing and yes I was by myself but even if I wasn't I would still I would still jam out okay so I think we have the glue that we want for the hair now let's go in with our indigo blue and let's just add some of those lines back. I mean, I'm not saying you've got to go back and redo every single line unless you want to, but make sure your, um, your pencils are sharp for this too, because you want, you want nice lines when you're going back in with this indigo blue especially in your black okay yeah I really was gonna make her um, her hair red I mean I was like practicing and practicing some different color reds I even got my Cali art markers out and I was like okay I'm gonna do that and then put the pencils over the top and I mean I was practicing some red hair and then all of a sudden I went why don't I do like a glowing hair effect and then I thought, how am I going to do that with red on here? Because there's so much blue and gray. Then I thought, why don't I just keep with the whole gray, blue kind of theme. So why not, right? So maybe one day when I know I'm going to be by myself I will go live and then I can chat with you guys for real because like right now I feel like I'm talking to myself but now yeah so I'm just outlining different strands of hair that I want to really focus on and if you want to go back in with those other colors by all means make it darker lighter I just like the way that her um, her veil came out, so I was like, ooh, there's a great idea right there. All right. OK. 
Okay. So fall is coming soon. I cannot believe the summer is almost over. My kid goes back to school soon. It's like crazy. Like what happened to the summer? We didn't do very much this summer. We usually go up to the lake or something, rent a boat and hang out, but we didn't do that this year. My husband had um, knee surgery, so that kind of put a damper on everything this year. I hope everybody had a safe and happy summer. And it's still having one. I mean, it still is officially summer, so. I say fall starts when they all, when the kiddos go back to school. <laughs> That's when it starts getting chilly here, too. It's been flipping hot here. I don't know about you guys, but I am like past few days I'm like what is going on and we're like high altitude so when it's like 80 some degrees here it feels like 100 like it is crazy hot okay so I'm just going in and I'm still with the indigo blue just going through and darkening up the hair following the lines of the strands of hair. Now, when you look at my art, I have, um, I don't like to do the same faces all the time. Like, I do have some collections with the same face, but I get bored with doing the same faces. I mean, I love, some of the artists do like the same faces, and I love a lot of their work, but I myself, I can't stay with the same face. I keep trying. <laughs> I keep trying because I know that's what everybody likes, but I don't know. I keep venturing off and doing something different. And I do both realism, like this one is more of a realism face, body, like it's more proportion. Um, I can do that or the more cartoony anime kind of style. I love anime, so I uh, I can do that style as well. And that's what I like to incorporate in my art. Like, I like to do whatever makes me happy at that time. And I hope it makes everybody else happy. I've noticed, though, that um, my more cartoony anime style um, images do better and then my realism which I find really bizarre because I think this is cool I mean she's doing well and I think it's because I have a color along going on but the uh, what's it called are the um, more cartoon style are doing better on my Etsy store. You guys let me know. Like if you want more of this realism type style, let me know. I do whatever everybody else likes. I mean, so I stay in business. If you guys want a certain style, I mean, I can always learn a style too. I'm like a chameleon. That's what my, when I used to work, <laughs> When I used to work um, as a makeup artist, um, before I was a makeup artist, I was a uh, merchandising team leader. Um, I did uh, visual effects for Macy's. And um, so when I was doing that, <laughs> they asked me out of the blue, Michelle, do you want to be the manager for the Clinique counter? And I said, what in the world do I know about makeup, guys? I was like, what? I was like, I'm a merchandiser. You know, I paint and I, you know, I redecorate the walls. I do mannequins. I was like, what in the world do I know about makeup besides putting on my own makeup? And they said, well, 
here's some books you can learn it's a promotion i said okay so i read up on it i experimented and i learned and i became a manager right off the bat was something I did not even know what the heck I was doing. And it's either sink or swim sometimes, you know? And so they started calling me the chameleon because they could put me in any position and I would learn it and I would do it. And that's like anything. you got to put your mind to things, guys. If you want something bad enough, you can do it. You learn. You work hard. You practice, practice, practice. And that's what I always tell my my son, my nine-year-old, you know, I want him to have that drive. A lot of people in, in the work environment nowadays, they don't have any type of work ethic. Like, you can go into a store and, they, you know, you ask for help or you ask them for something and they, they point to where it's at. You know, when I was working and if we ever, like, pointed, I worked for Macy's for 15 years and... Um, as a makeup artist and then before that like I said I was a merchandising team leader and um, if we ever pointed if somebody asked for like help and we just went oh it's over there I mean we would get in trouble and also you have to think about it like how would you like someone to do that with to you you know I, I want to be shown where something's at so yeah uh, it's just work ethic you know especially if you're trying to sell something and you're on commission like why would you just be like, oh, it's over there? No, you take them to it. You show them it. You features and benefits of it. And show them things that are similar to it. Like, it's crazy. I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe it's the way I was raised or something. I don't know. Okay, so after we use that indigo blue in here. Sorry if I'm like super chatty today. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm apologizing beforehand. But, okay, so we have her hair, and that was a simple hair, right? And if you want to go back in with your black, you can. And just, just around, like, edges of the, the flowers that she has in her hair. She has this really cool headdress on, so we want to emphasize that so I'm just going to go around that with the black and that really helps to helps you out as well if you start losing your lines I lose my lines a lot with this tan tone paper when I start coloring on here I haven't used Tantone paper very much. 